morning everybody we're having another field day and the train is rolling in now we are headed to the new rochelle new york site and because of my nhrp's commitment to sustainability i will be taking the train in from the waterbury station to new rochelle all right we'll see you there I'm Sarah Boyson here with HRP. Um, today we're doing ground penetrating radar scanning of a soil boring spot. This is to make sure that we don't run into any utilities while we're drilling. The spray paint is just to show that the GPR picked up some readings indicating that there's something in the ground at that spot. He's able to actually figure out approximately how deep it is. The TW6, it's a magnetometer that we use at uh, American Geophysics. It looks for ferrous and non ferrous metals. Once we do a sweep of the initial AOI area of interest, um, then we back it up with the GPR, which is sitting right next to me, which is a ground penetrating radar, 250 megahertz. And we look for any kind of anomalies or utilities in the ground that might impact the morning soil testing. preparation for the soil boring right here, we're going to speak to the driller and make sure that he has enough room for his equipment and he's able to set up properly. It's really an important part of coordination here on site. This is a radio detection piping cable locator. What I'm right now looking for is passive electrical signals in the ground. Um, it also has the ability to directly induce onto utilities such as water lines, electrical lines, etc, etc induce a signal at a certain frequency and this receiver looks for that exact frequency so it helps me locate pipes, utilities, electrical lines, you name it, we can find it. Here's an example of direct induction. On our gas line there's the tracer wire. The radio pipe and cable locator will induce a signal with alligator clamps, ground out, and then the receiver will look for that specific signal. Right now we are working with 33 kilohertz. I think I got a good signal, so I'm going to trace out this line. 